Oh man, I got some movies, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get into this. But first, I gotta say, if you didn't watch my last video, check that video out first. Uh, that was me giving my biggest movie collecting mistakes. And this is me essentially beginning again, like starting to rectify some of those issues. This will begin to make things right. And fill in some gaps that have happened in my library because of investing so deeply in digital stuff. I want more movies on my shelf. That's basically it. And so like this is me filling in some gaps. So some of you guys might be hearing and be like, there's no criterion collection, you know, like you're super fancy and that's cool. I get it. Um, this is me just being like, Hey, I had this on digital or on DVD and I want to replace it or I couldn't find it. And so I don't have it at all. And I went to a store that is in a different city and we, we don't have a lot of opportunities to go to a whole bunch of movie stores, but this one store has Blu-rays for cheap and it's, it's kind of hit or miss. Like there were tons of Burt Wonderstone <laughs> Blu-rays. It kind of reminded me of uh, prospector Pete and toy story. Uh, Toy Story 2 when like he's just sitting on the shelf and no one wanted to get him. That's Burt Wonderstone Blu-rays. I, I felt a little bad. I almost picked one out out of pity and then I remembered what the movie was and I was like, nope, not doing that, not wasting that money. But I did find some pretty cool ones. So let's start off with Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. All right. Uh, this is the one, the one that we didn't have the physical copy for. And... Um, you know, I, I never really liked this franchise a whole bunch. My wife loves it. And then like the last like five years, they've just been so fun and dumb that I've totally bought into them. So we rewatch these fairly often. And this is the one that we didn't have. So now we do. Uh, and then there, there are a couple. Let me get like a couple of these ones together. Uh, so you saw it. It's pirates. We got we got some of the pirate Blu-rays. Uh, obviously, have them on digital, have them on Disney Plus, but we didn't have like the physical copy sitting on the shelf, uh, and we wanted them. And so I think the only one that we had was oddly enough like on Stranger Tides. I don't know why we had that Blu-ray, but now we have filled in the gap. We just went through these with my oldest, and I forgot how good these movies are. Like some of them. Like it's not like oscar worthy but they're pretty fun movies like there was a reason why they got so stinking popular and it wasn't just because of johnny depp although he didn't really hurt so we finally you know we got we got the we got the blu-rays now so that's kind of cool to be able to have that on the shelf this is one that my wife picked up um i don't do horror but we got the woman in black um i'm gonna have to watch this <laughs> I don't, know. I don't do well with like, especially supernatural horror. Like I don't do too great with it. I like thrillers and slashers like scream is my favorite. Uh, and then probably Halloween, but I'm going to have to watch this with my wife now, but you know, it's cuddle time. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, this one, I was really excited. I saw this and I was like, we have to get this. I need this on my shelf. And that is Adventureland. Uh, this is definitely going to be uh, one. It wasn't 10 bucks, by the way. It was very cheap. All of these were super cheap. I think we got all of these for like a little under 50 bucks. So uh, really awesome store. Uh, but I just really love this movie. I thought it was super funny at the time. It came out in 2009. So definitely going to be doing a Dean in real life about this movie. And so it's an investment. It's an investment in the podcast. So really happy to have this one. Uh, this one's very different and I still love it about the same. And that is Pride and Prejudice. But this is the Colin Firth one. Uh, I don't think that this is probably that easy to find. You know, obviously you got like the, the Kira Knightley one uh, that's probably everywhere. Uh, but this one is definitely my favorite and I grew up on it and I've got five sisters and my mom really loved movies. And so we were always watching Jane Austen movies and I would complain about it and I'd be like, I want to watch star Wars. But then I would sit in and cuddle in with my mom and be like, I like this. <laughs> so like, I just, I just really dig it. So very glad to have that. Uh, then oddly enough, we didn't have the transporter, which is really weird for us because my wife loves Jason Statham. 
Uh, but you know, I'm confident. I'm confident. It's okay that she loves him so much. Cause I love him too. Uh, so, uh, the transporter, great little action flick. Another Jesse Eisenberg one. We got zombie land, even though we have it on digital and on DVD and, I don't know. Probably this, like this is probably like the fourth time I've bought this movie in some format. <laughs> so I'm, like some of this, I'm I'm happy about. Some of this, I'm a little depressed about because I keep on having to spend money on the same stuff because I just want the Blu-ray. I want the Blu-ray of it. Uh, but this is a fantastic comedy. Lots of cool action in it too. So uh, another one that we'll definitely be talking about on Dean Real Life because I think this one came out. Yeah, 2009 as well. So that was an interesting year. In an interesting year for Jesse Eisenberg, 2009. Um, Real Steel. Uh, I love this movie. Uh, I think a lot of people began to love it. but I loved it as soon as it came out. I saw it in theaters, and I was just like, this is going to be awesome. And then everyone was like, actually, it sucks. And I was like, what? <laughs> like It's one of those moments where I just go like, am I wrong? Is everyone else wrong? I don't get it. Like, I have to be wrong, right? Well, I'm not, because everyone has come over to my side. Real Steel is the bomb. So, glad to have that one. Uh, then I got Step Brothers. Classic, classic, classic. You know, because now we got more room in uh, in our house, and we could have all the Blu-rays, and we have lots of room for activities. And uh, one of our activities is going to be watching Step Brothers. Also going to be on Dean in Real Life. And then we got one for the kiddos, Puss in Boots, but it's also kind of for me because I've never seen this. Like Puss in Boots, The Last Wish has been on replay in our house since it came out. Um, a little bit behind the curtain a little bit. Uh, one of my sons, he is autistic and diabetic. And we found out he was type one diabetic last year where we spent like a week in the hospital. And all he wanted to do was watch Puss in Boots Last Wish. He was obsessed with it and listen to the music. So that's become like a really just um, loved character in our house. And I've never seen this one. And the kids, I think that they've seen it before, like we rented it or something. Uh, but they're very excited to be able to watch this whenever they want. And then one of my favorites, Sherlock Holmes. Have it on digital in two different countries. <laughs> but I don't have it. And I have it on DVD. But I don't have it on Blu-ray. And I finally do. And I got it for dirt cheap. So very happy about that. I really want them to make a third one. I love Game of Shadows as well. Just great character played by a great actor. And also, uh, you know, you got Watson too. Jude Law is pretty great in this. All right. Uh, another one. Great movie. Uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Uh, didn't have it. Didn't have it on anything. Like not on digital, not on DVD. Uh, but now we have it on Blu-ray, so pretty happy about that. Great movie. Another one that, uh, you know, this is the kind of horror that I actually kind of enjoy. Like a little bit of a slasher and not so like super bloody, but uh, like still kind of violent. Like that's, these movies are fun, even for me, uh, but my wife really loves them. So we didn't have this one. We have a bunch of the other ones, but now we got the original, I guess. Uh, and then lastly, we've got Avatar. Because for some reason, we did not have Avatar. And we got like this really cool, like collector's edition one. Like it's kind of awesome and still uh, got it for dirt cheap. I don't know why they were selling this one at the same price as some of the others. But you know what? I'll take it. So uh, got a lot. Like I said, all for a little under 50 bucks. So we'll definitely be going back there at some point. I don't plan on making a ton of these kinds of videos here on the channel, but I did want to give you like a little bit of an update of, you know, we're trying to work on this and get some more movies into the house, the physical copies of them anyways. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of fun to show off and be like, hey, look what I found, because I'm excited about it, okay? I'm very excited about it. You know what else I'm excited about? My podcast that I upload on Fridays called Dean in Real Life, where we celebrate 2000s movies because they deserve it. I'll see you over there. Bye.